Hi, my name is George Barsonis, and I'm a professional development trainer for ViewSonic. Um, I'm continuing a session uh, or a series of videos that I, I enjoy on Classroom. Um, we are now down to where it's the student dashboard. Um, you're going to notice there's a, a couple differences between the student and the teacher. Um, and a lot of it is in the creative uh, side of it, but I just wanted to show how it looks like from a student point of view. Remember, everything that we're doing is we're going to myviewboard.com and I'm clicking on the classroom tab. So the classroom tab is the one that we've been using this whole time and it's right here. And this is the one that we're using as our tool. If I click on the classroom tab, you notice that you'll know that you're in the classroom tab is because you'll have the top part where it says the classroom session. Okay, and that's the classroom tab. Now, if you notice, just to quickly highlight this so you can see the differences, you'll notice that on the teacher side, um, you see that you have your magic box, all your pen tools, and you'll have some folders up here that you can go and pull things from. On the student tab, remember I have both of these open so you can see it. On the student tab, you'll notice that when I click up here on the student dashboard up here, I have it so that you guys can see it, is you'll notice that their tools are down on the bottom. Okay, so right now their tools on the bottom and they're looking at teacher page one. So I, this is my first page that I created this is where they're at. But you'll notice that they'll have a magic box, the select tool, pin, eraser, sticky notes, shapes and text. And then they have the ability on the bottom right to raise their hand. Okay, there is a chat box. Um, right here and also the other students that are here as you see who else is raising so if I click on the chat box you'll notice when I click in this chat box here you'll see anything that's been coming in in the public chat or in their huddles one of the things you can do is you can put students in groups now just to kind of use some of the terminology that I use with my students when I think about these things is I talk about breakout rooms kind of basically what a huddle is putting people in breakout rooms where they're working through things together. Or if I look at the chat, you'll notice it has a lot of the same similarities when you're looking through any video uh, recording or video uh, training, you have the ability to have that chat. But right now when you see here, you'll see that the public chat, I'm gonna click on that one. You see the students can actually go through and say, hey, how are you? So right now a student asked this and then I am gonna put in here, uh, let's put in, uh, uh, I, um, what can I put in here? I'm going to think about, I need help. Oops. I put too many, two, two eyes in there. Let me do that again. I need help. Okay. So I need help. I, I put it on there and then I'm going to click on the little, uh, arrow or the little send icon and you'll notice now it's in the chat. Okay. So right now I just sent this in the chat and just to make sure the teacher knows that I need help. I'm also going to raise my hand. So you notice down here, my hand will change to yellow, okay? Now, here's what I wanna make sure I highlight, and this is a little bit of a workflow um, that you have to think about what you're doing and kind of like what you're looking at. So for instance, if I click up here on the first uh, the one, remember the first one is the, the teacher whiteboard. So when I click on that one, you'll notice here, um, I don't see uh, the chat right away, but I do see, a little red dot on the bottom. So in the session before this one, I talked about how you can put eyes on me. The one next to it, you'll notice there's a little red dot around it. So let's click on that and see what shows up. So when I click on that, you'll notice it takes me to my dashboard, okay? In my dashboard now, when you come in here, you'll notice that uh, the student who raised their hand, so you'll see up here, uh, second text uh, test, has their hand raised, see how the hand is raised. And on the bottom, I have the ability to lower their hand and then make sure that I've answered the question. And you'll look up here in the chat uh, bubble on the top right. Sometimes uh, uh, people think that this is the one that you click on to talk to tech support. No, this, you are tech support uh, with your students. So if I click on that one, you'll notice that it opens up the huddles and it opens up the public chat and I can actually go through and either turn it on or turn it off or see what is happening in the chat, okay? Um, I know right now I need to highlight that. Um, see the, um, uh, right here, there's one that has red and there's one that's gray. If I click on that to make it red, I just turned off the chat completely. So some people like to turn that off right away by clicking on the little chat bubble 
I can turn it on or turn it off so it's available for the students, okay? Now, you noticed in the student section that their whole, their whole keys on the bottom, notice that their keys on the bottom were gray. That means the student can't touch it, they can't do anything. You have to give the pin to the student, okay? So the same place that I went and found that uh, test, or who is this? This is, yeah, second test has their hand up and also the ability for um, them to know that the chat, where they can do the chat. I also have to go to the dashboard where I allow them to have a pin, okay? So right now, I'm gonna click on the middle one, which is the dashboard. Remember, the dashboard is where we control kind of the functions. I think of um, the the whiteboard is where I create and I draw and I, and I create content. And then the dashboard is where I manage them. So you'll notice that you can actually see um, how these things work together. So what I wanna do is I wanna give them a pin. I wanna allow them to give the pin. I can choose to give everyone a pin or I can choose to give only certain people a pin. So if you look at this below, I have the ability to turn on their, uh, allow them to turn on their mics and I have the ability to actually give them a pin. If I click on the pin tool, if I click on that one right there, you'll notice that the pin will now turn uh, red and you notice now when I go to the dashboard, when I go to the student side, you'll notice on the bottom now, the student now has the ability to write. So now I can write and I can go on there. So now the student can go through and put things on the board. Now remember, you're wondering, am I in the teacher side or the student side? The easiest way to kind of know which one you're on, if you're looking at it from a student point of view, their tools will be on the bottom. For the teacher side, you'll notice that their tools will be on the top. So you notice on the right. So that, that means you have like different things on the bottom as you go through. So just so you guys can see how all these tools are there for you, you have the ability, let me drop in, um, let me drop in an arrow. Um, you have the ability to kind of just be able to do a, a little bit more because you have it on the right, whereas a student, oh, I'm just in the way, <laughs> where the student has it where they have it on the bottom. Okay, so on the student side, you'll notice that their controls are there. Notice right now that their controls are now uh, uh, solid black. That means they're not grayed out and they have the ability to kind of just keep and drawing and writing and doing all these things on there. If I want to get rid of it, remember in the dashboard, I have the ability to turn off the pin. Okay, I have the ability to click on the pin to turn it off one at a time. So now you'll notice that second test has this pin turned off. And when I go back to that, you'll notice that it's grayed out on the bottom now. Okay, so now that's a quick way where you can see on the student dashboard what it looks like for them. They can insert text, they can insert shapes, um, they can do that. Um, there's one more thing that I like to give the students. So let me give everybody a pin. To give everyone a pin, notice that George didn't have a pin last time. Down here on the bottom, you see that there's ability here. I can lower everyone's hand. So that's the first one. So the first one here is I can lower everyone's hand at once. So right now, all hands are down. I can turn on where everyone has their microphone ability to kind of talk. Remember, this is just like running a Zoom or a Google Meet inside the software. And I can also go and say, you know what? I want everyone to have a pen. So when I click on this now, I have both of them now turned red. And I know red looks like shouldn't have it, but I have that there where they can do that. So I have the ability to be able to look at this and be able to turn this on and off. Now, just so you can see this, I don't have a lot of students in this classroom right now, but if I had up to 30, which is the maximum you can have, up here, I can put them in groups. So look at the top right now where it says dashboard. Notice up here, it has huddle one, has two students. Those same control buttons, are right down here. So they're same right here. Those same buttons are there. I can do where I can turn on for each kid or I can turn it on by groups. So they have the ability to have the whiteboard abilities to do that. And again, all you see when you're doing this is now both people have them. Let me see if I can break the internet and have both of these right at the same time. So now I'm gonna go and click on pin. So I have two, so I'm gonna work on the left with test. So here's test. And then on the right, I'm going to try to, <laughs> you can't write, I'm writing with both hands right now. Um, it doesn't work very well. But right now, um, I am able to write both at the same time. And I know I wish it kind of came with different colors, but they kind of come in with the same color unless they choose it. But this is where you can give everybody a pin, take away the pin, and then they have the ability to raise their hands, use the chat, 
and be able to engage with you in that way. All right, so this is the student dashboard. See, it's very basic, very simple for them to use and how they can engage with you. All right, I'll see you in the next video where we can continue with all the different ways that you can use Classroom with your students. Mm -hmm.